Hello viewers, welcome to this month's support group video. I'm here with Sheila to discuss how to make a realistic New Year's resolution. I know that every year I make New Year's resolutions and I'm dedicated to making them come true in about 12 months. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. However, I'm a firm believer in it's always worth trying. So Sheila, what advice do you have for me? Yes, Brooke, you definitely can make your New Year resolutions uh, stick, but they also have to be attainable. Here are some ways that you can turn this year into the best year. New Year, New You. Uh, first of all, think about last year. Reflect on the mistakes and mishaps of last year. It's a good start when you're um, making New Year resolutions. Where could you have done better? What do you want to see change? Can Translation in your weight loss journey is that I will change my route while going to the mall shopping. Instead of parking near the food court, I will park further and not having to pass by the food court. Second things that you can do is write things down. A goal that are not written is just wishes. Nothing gets done unless it's written down. It takes uh, it from being just an idea to being real. There are a lot of ways to do it. You can definitely use a planner or a calendar. A lot of people use their smartphone. And you can type it out in your laptop or write it down on a piece of paper. Just make sure it's written in a place where you can see it and refer to it often. Write on the calendar on all the days you should go to the gym. You would think of it as a task before each day ends. And don't try to do all of it in January. Space out your New Year resolution. I'm often making resolutions that I can't begin to work on until April or early June. So give your New Year's resolution some breathing room. Change your lifestyle takes time. Changing your lifestyle takes time. And losing weight definitely takes time. You should have a short-term and long-term goals broken down in your calendar or planner, such as losing 10 pounds per month uh, and losing 60 pounds per six months. Okay, um, so do you suggest starting with bigger goals or smaller goals? Well, it's usually, it goes from uh, baby steps to big goals. It is easy to look at the mountain, uh, decide it's too big to climb, and then you can crawl back into bed. But break big goals down into smaller increments. So, for example, if you plan to run a marathon, you have to train and build your end endurance. If you've never run before, running a marathon will be your mountain to climb. You need to train yourself slowly so that your body can... Uh, uh, do what it takes on the big day. Get a little help from your friends. Definitely um, exercising at the gym can be intimidating if you never stepped in one before. Going with a friend who knows what to do and how to do things with the equipment, how to do it correctly at the gym will definitely help you eliminate unnecessary embarrassment or even just to build your self-confidence in doing it yourself in the future. Reach out and ask for the support you need. It can be bonding experience. Awesome. Okay. And I know one of the biggest complaints is time. Mm -hmm. uh, what advice do you have for that? Um, I'll say write down and identify time wasters. A lot of great tasks in life don't get finished because we waste a lot of time uh, doing Facebook on things that are unimportant or unrelated to our goals. Sometimes a year is not enough, so you got to realize uh, the truth. As the year draws to close, uh, it takes some time to reflect on the resolution you made in January. How did you do? Did you work hard? Did you make the deadlines or you need another year? Give yourself some grace. You've laid the ground toward achieving your dreams and you can take the next year to perfect them. Learn from the previous year's mistakes and grow. Every year is another chance to get it right. Awesome. Thanks for your help and advice, Sheila, and have a happy new year. Thank you. You too.